Let's have a property tour, shall we? Brian Lebo here and uh, <sighs> let's take a walk. This is a different one. This is <laughs> definitely a different one and I'm laughing because you guys have no idea <laughs> what's coming next. So look, normally we shoot Summerlin, we shoot Green Valley, we love blue hair in design, we love blue hair in homes, but look, most of us can't afford three million to six million. So I wanted to bring you out to a different side of town. So today we're on the east side and this is a modern home for only $1.5 million. So it's a little more attainable. And let's just see what you get for 1.5 million in relation to these wonderful blue heron homes. Now, this is gonna be like really touring a home with me because if you've ever looked for a home before, you've always seen a home online that looked just amazing. And then a lot of times when you go in person, maybe the build quality isn't up to par, maybe it's not in the condition you expected. This is gonna be an interesting one. So I've never ever been more excited than this video to read your comments because there's gonna be some funny stuff. So I'm gonna make this fun, I'm gonna make this humorous. You're tired of listening to this part, so let's go. So first off, let's talk about the flooring in this house. Normally I'm not a big fan of this and this is awesome. So this is the use of that skyomorphic, which is making something look like something that it isn't. So in this implementation, we have tile planks that look like wood. Honestly, in person, this looks better than it did in photos. I actually was really, really impressed. I thought it was gonna be tacky and cheesy, but this looks wonderful. So take that as you will. Now let's talk about this island because this is where we typically start off in the kitchen. So again, really, really wonderful job. So here we have a large island. Of course, we have in vogue the Calcutta quartz looking counter surface, but there's a couple neat things here. So one, this is a full fabrication job. So mitered 45, we have a two inch apron on the counter surface. And of course, you have to have the obligatory waterfall. So we have dual waterfalls on both sides, but what's really, really, really important and what's neat is this is perfectly book matched. So you'll notice, especially on a counter surface like this where there's so much veining to it, you'll notice that the veining and the countertop perfectly align. Again, until you've seen when it doesn't, you realize how nice this actually is. Another thing of note, while the cabinetry is very modern, what's really great is the backside of this island is also functional with full cabinetry. So let's talk a little bit more about this island as we delve into the whole kitchen. So coming down this side, we have a wonderful stainless steel farm sink and look how much stuff it can fit in here. I mean, you could fit bowls and dishes and protein powder and Brita fill. Dude, we got all, we got sponge. I'm not gonna touch the sponge, that's nasty. All right, but all humor aside, nice stainless steel sink. I actually really like this fixture, nice rubber handle. Now, the entire kitchen is all GE Monogram appliance package. So everything is universal. So if you have that OCD where you don't like mix and match, you're gonna like it here. So here we have the GE Monogram dishwasher. You know my rule, over three million, we need two but we're way under, we're half of that. So we're fine with one dishwasher. Now let's pivot to this side of the kitchen. Now there's some really, really neat stuff going on here. We'll start from the bottom and work our way up. So first off, we do have this modern gray matte finish European style cabinetry. I really, really absolutely personally love this kind of look. I love the simple pulls on here. And I really absolutely love, this is one of my favorite counter surfaces, just a basic quartz counter surface, but here we have a concrete gray and I just love the minimal simplicity of it and again they even did a waterfall return over on this edge so pretty nice you don't normally see that too often where things get a little interesting well things are gonna get a lot more interesting but where things get a little interesting is over here on the island we have that Calcutta quartz surface and then over here it looks like kind of a Calcutta quartz but this is actually a large format porcelain tile if it was right next to each other you would notice but with the separation of having about five feet here you really can't tell that it's actually different it actually looks really wonderful there's a lot of weird things going on in here and this is definitely one of them maybe in a good way i've never seen this ever before inside the cabinet what is that so it's like we almost have like a grayish zebra wood horizontal instead of vertical but i've never seen 
a different like lacquered veneer on the inside of a cabinet. So something very different. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. You guys tell me your comments. Do you like that contrast? Maybe a new trend we should start? Or is that just a little like, hmm, I don't know how I feel about it. All right. Now coming over here, we have our dual fuel 48 inch professional series GE monogram range accented of course by the matching 48 inch industrial commercial style vent hood. So if you really want to stir fry, this is your place. So really, really lovely, great, great area of the kitchen. Coming over this direction, this is pretty cool. So over here, again, we have our matching uh, concrete gray quartz that we had over there across from the island. We have some, uh, industrial looking trash cans. So if you produce a tremendous amount of trash, we have you good here and we even have recycling. <laughs> but let's get back to the show. I actually like the backsplash. Uh, you guys tell me what you think. I, I actually like it. It's like an antiqued mirror 3D brick tile in a column format. Kind of cool. We have floating shelves and obviously we have a plethora of liquor options. So. This is, this is I, need to, I need to meet this owner and hang out here a little bit. All right, over here, continuing, we have the built-in GE Monogram refrigerator. I'll spare you the uh, opening of the refrigerator. Just trust me on that one. But this is really neat. So coming over here, one, we have a huge walk-in pantry. Again, I'm gonna spare you inside the pantry. Some things just don't need to be shown on film. Coming over here, this is neat. So we kind of have a chef's kitchen over here. So we have the same antique uh, mirrored brick uh, backsplash. We have the same modern European cabinetry. And then we even have a built-in microwave over here. So of course I gotta hit you with the, ooh. Ah, even a little bit of fried chicken nuggets in there. So yeah, right on, man. And then this is kind of cool. We have room for a little poquito uh, beer fridge. So, you know, beer fridge, extra fridge. If you don't drink, this can be your Kool-Aid fridge, your Avion fridge, whatever. I'm making stuff up. All right, now, heading back over this way. Follow me as we check out more of the living space, like the family room, great room, etc. So first off, let's check out the wine closet. Uh, again, very popular with modern architecture. Most of the properties have some kind of incarnation of, of wine cellar, wine closet. This one's kind of neat, very modern, very nice, but what's cool is they actually installed refrigeration. I would say the majority of wine closets we see don't have refrigeration. So that's kind of a nice touch considering some of the other things going on here. So let's check this space out. So clutter and stuff aside, I actually love this space. This is a great feel over here. So first off, one of my favorite design touches is this concrete veneer. It looks like concrete. It's just a veneer that you paste over, but I love the industrial look. That speaks more to me. I'm sure some of you absolutely hate that, but I love it. Here we have a 60 inch gas fireplace. So if you furnished it a little bit, did some interior design, this could be a really neat space. Now, one of the things that I love about this space is the fact that we have this vaulted ceiling. So we start off a little over 10 feet on the left side, and then we approach about 15 feet on the right. So the volume of this ceiling is pretty enormous and it makes this just feel really welcoming. And it's not obnoxiously big where you lose the intimacy feel. Now, getting a little more interesting, over here we have our surround sound. So we have on-wall left and right speakers as well as on-wall rear speakers. And then we get to like, you know, the TikTok, Instagram world where we have the wood veneer hub. Here it looks like a little DIY job, a little less consistent than you normally would find when you purchase it, but uh, yeah. Clearly we have a gamer here. So we have a multiplex array system, pretty neat for watching games, geeking out on video games, whatever. Now coming down here, we'll get to the backyard in a moment, but here we have a 12 foot slider. But what's really neat is it's actually a pocket slider. A lot of times, especially in this price range, you will have a slider, but it's not gonna actually pocket. So we have a Fleetwood higher end pocket slider, really nice 12 feet. Over here in this direction, probably unnecessary, but kind of cool. So we have this pass through window. So normally this is on the inside of the bar. So normally you would have like a bar here and of course you could create a bar so you could pass drinks through. Again, it's a little unnecessary since I could walk four feet over there, but whatever. It exists and it comes with a house, so enjoy. 
All right, over here we have our formal dining area. We have a really lovely lighting fixture. We have more surround sound above us, but let's go check out the primary suite. And I forgot, Ashley is just correcting me right and left. What would I do without you, Ashley? All right, here again, we have another pocket slider. This one's 15 feet long. And again, we'll get to the backyard, but this is absolutely mandatory to enjoy that indoor outdoor living. And this is awesome, but we'll get to that in a moment. So. For now, let's check out the primary suite and have a little fun. Now, um, if you wanna see what bachelor life is like, step into my office. So, here's how some bachelors live. <laughs> Of note, we did let them know we were filming. This was all pre-scheduled and we were told the house is, is in really good shape. So we're in good shape, right? We're in good shape, cool. All right, so this is a neat space. So this is actually a retreat for the primary suite. So if you wanna hide from your children, this is a great place to have like a sofa. Over here, again, we have that do it DIY uh, wood veneer hub uh, louvered wall here. So it's already wired for a television display. So your sofa would be here, your television's here, you close the door and you can hide from your children and let them run amok. Neat, we do have ingress and egress right here, directly right into the pool. So that's really nice coming right from the primary suite. We have this entire wall here. Entire wall is all windows. So we have seven pretty large windows to let in a lot of natural light. And um, most of the window treatments work. So that's kind of neat. I'll see you on this side. All right, so over here, again, window treatments, most of them work, uh, most of them exist. I don't know where this one is, but, but they mostly exist. Again, really cool. They did the same textured concrete veneer on this wall, so a really, really lovely accent wall. And then again over here, this may require a little imagination. You know what, I already rolled today at the gym, but thanks for the suggestion, we'll kick that out of the way. All right, here we have another wood veneer hub uh, production. So we have our very popular louvered wood and check this out. Imagine, can you imagine for a moment that you had an electric fireplace somewhere around here? Like, just, just imagine that. Then come over here. It's coming, it's coming. So if you buy this house, uh, I'll make sure that they include the fireplace in the wall. We'll, we'll get that figured out. It's my promise to you. <laughs> you may have other requests, but I'll make sure that that one happens. All right, this is kind of neat. Check out this bathroom. All right, as coming into the bathroom, we have a 12 by 24 inch high gloss porcelain floor. So it's really elegant, really nice. This is a cool, really, really cool space. So over here, we have a very elongated counter surface. I mean, this, trying to put it in perspective, this is probably like 12 feet long. It's a really, really spacious counter surface. So here we have a quartz counter surface that's been leathered, so kind of has a little bit of a texture to it, a matte finish. Massive mirror, so if you love looking at yourself and taking selfies, this is the place to be. Now, this is something I'm pretty happy about. Again, I'm coming from the old school. Ashley and I, we always disagree on this. I hate the design of having a massive shower and then throwing the bathtub in the shower. I just cannot wrap my head around that concept. I'm not on board, but I am getting old and I am getting stuck in my way. So I don't dig that. Ashley loves it. I love the fact that here we have a proper floating bathtub off to itself. And then we have a little bit of a different transition from the porcelain 12 by 24 inch into the actual shower here. We don't really have a curbed entry like you normally do, but it it technically is a curb. It's just literally like a quarter of an inch. So it's, it's not curbless, but it's close. Very nice. Love the mosaic tile. Love the linear drain. We've got 12 by 24 inch 3D tile. We do have a rainfall shower head and one shower. We have our wand here. It's just a perfect shower. And again, unless you want a steam shower where we'd enclose everything, this is an awesome, functional, great shower. Over here, we have extra storage for the linen closet. And if you have tons of boxes, look how many, you can get three boxes over here. This is so functional. Can you see I'm trying to sell this? <laughs> All right, over here, we have our water closet. It's a water closet with a toilet, not too exciting. I love shoes. I have way too many shoes. This is an awesome closet. Just maybe look past a few 
things, but come on here. We have great carpeting. Now we have this beautiful custom closet. We have tons of space in here. Again, it's a gorgeous closet, but my favorite part about this closet is this come through here a little bit. As we come through the closet, we have direct access right into the laundry room. So this is really, really neat because in a moment I'm gonna show you where the garage is, but we have another closet here. We have framed in. It's not just with a shelf over here for the washer and dryer, it's actually framed in. So really elegant, really, really nice. And even over here on the edge, <laughs> we have the same veneer that was on the inside of the cabinet. So kind of tying it together. But come on down here a little bit further. Talking about this laundry room, what I really love is the fact that this right here is the door to the garage. So when you come home, you're obviously coming through the garage. You can come right into the garage, right into the laundry room, right into the closet. You're not trucking anything through the house. Super, super functional. All right, normally we don't do garages very often. And I always hear from you guys, show me the garage. So I'm gonna show you the garage, come on in. So stepping in the garage, we got a few things you don't normally see. So it's already been painted. We do have a very nice epoxy floor, so very easy to keep clean. Over here, we have our water filtration. We have a massive storage closet. And I don't know, how many garages have you been in where you have dueling ceiling fans? So we even have a ceiling fan on both sides and you can work out. So three car garage, super functional, tons of room for stuff. All right. Coming back in, now we're gonna head over and check out some of the secondary bedrooms to see what's going on over there. So coming down this direction, one of the things that I love here at the entry is even the ceiling has a, like basically a flooring on the ceiling. So it's meant to mimic the actual floor, which is tile, whereas above is a laminate, but it definitely gives it a little bit more of a dramatic entry from the front door. All right, now let's come down this direction. Over here, we have just a basic coat closet, nothing too exciting. And then over here, we have a massive cavity. So this is more of, it's like a storage unit in here. So really functional, but I'll spare you the inside of the storage unit. Now let's step into this room. All right, if you guys have teenagers, you're used to this. So again, this is lived in, this is, this is real. <laughs> this is what you really see when you're house hunting. So. We have a teenage room. One of the things that I absolutely love, uh, one of the jokes is someone had talked about my height and said, yeah, he's probably like five foot something. I'm actually 6'1". We used to talk about that as a joke, but I played basketball when I was younger. And when you're a kid, you're always trying to be taller than you are. So in your photos, you're always trying to get in your toes to look like an inch or two taller. This is next level, man. I love this. So according to this, I'm not 6'1 anymore. Check this out, I'm like six foot five. I like this kid's style. All right, come on down here. So cool bathroom. So here we have a high gloss black lacquered cabinetry. It's elevated. We have the gray concrete quartz with custom accents. So check out that Colgate crust for the, uh, the accent. You don't just get that normally, this is custom. All right, we have that gorgeous mosaic tile that I really liked in the shower and the primary as the floor here. But this is one thing that's kind of neat. So while we have a vertically laid brick style uh, porcelain 12 by 24 inch tile to make up the shower surround, a lot of house flippers go cheap. If you've ever noticed, look in the photos and a lot of times you'll see a remodeled lower end home where they do a shower or they do a tub shower and there's no glass. Why would you have a house where you literally have this beautiful shower surround and now I gotta put a curtain rod? It's because they didn't wanna spend the thousand dollars for the glass so they are hoping that you're not gonna realize that it's gonna cost you a thousand times every shower. This was a really interesting solution for a tub shower. So while we have this partition, it also articulates. So this is kind of interesting. It's kind of like a shower entry door, but this articulates for the tub. So if you're in the tub, you can kind of pull it out and have a little more space. Just kind of an interesting idea. So for those of you out there dealing with the same situation on a home you purchased, there's one solution for you. So comments, let me know, is that wacky or does that make sense to you?
All right, over here, we have the secondary bathroom that'll serve as this bedroom. So here we have a different gray with drawers. I love the same quartz concrete gray counter surface. We have a working LED uh, mirror, really nice. And then we have a pretty nice shower. So 12 by 24 inch white porcelain, little mosaic inlay, you know, gets the job done. And then for the, the best bedroom in the house, Take a moment. Let's let's harness our chi. Let's have some zen. Oh, very minimal. It's so minimal. So minimal. We just have a bed. But I do like the pseudo wainscoting here. The decorative wall art, really neat. And this window, which we have covered for lighting. This is actually the front of the home, so this would be looking at the actual front, like the driveway. Guys. Uh, hope you've enjoyed the inside of this property. Uh, that's probably about it for the humor side. But we finished the entire inside of the home. Now meet me out back and let's see what's going on in the backyard. All right, guys, now let's check out this backyard area. So first, like we were talking about earlier, here's our ingress, egress to enjoy that indoor outdoor living. So first we'll start off over here. This was our pass through for drinks area. So again, if we had a bar here, it would make a little bit more sense to be able to pass the drinks through here. On the other hand, maybe this is just a ledge to keep your drinks while you're doing whatever is you're doing. A little silly since here to here is about four feet, but I digress. Above us is really neat. We have a luxury vinyl laminate for the ceiling. So just kind of riches up the feel of this place. Uh, I really, really love these enclosed patio areas because this is really functional. You gotta have shade out here in the desert. And also sometimes we have wind. So this will really reduce all the wind since three sides are completely covered and obstructed from outdoor surfaces. So really, really great place. Over here, we have a really nice 50 inch gas fireplace. And then above, it's already wired for a display. So again, this is a wonderful place to be able to enjoy watching television and gathering with friends and being pseudo outside. And above us, we even have an infrared heater. So again, year round use, this is super functional. But let's check out the backyard. Now, one of the things that's kind of neat is in between all of these steppers, we have the river rock. So it's almost like an ode to Blue Heron's biophilic design except we use the rocks and blue heron inside the house instead of outside the house. But again, nice design language. Coming into the pool, pretty spacious. We have a plaster pool, so a little bit more normal in that sense, no pebble tech. We have a pretty large Baja shelf over here, so you could easily fit three or four chase lounges, get a little water on your back. Pretty nice. Coming down this end, you can do laps on this side of the pool, which is great, very functional, get some exercise, some cardio. And then over here, we have our jacuzzi that's almost flush with the pool. So a perfectly nice pool, and we have a really spacious backyard. Now, over here in this direction, we have artificial turf. So really great if you do have children, you can have them playing outside while you're hiding in your primary suite from your children and praying that they don't fall in the pool. That's a terrible joke, I shouldn't make that, but yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Anyways, come let's check out this kitchen. So over here we have our outdoor kitchen area. Uh, we have a Napoleon, I think it's a 36 inch grill. Really, really nice space, I would, probably put a pergola right over this so we have a little bit of overhead protection from the sun since you know it's vegas it's going to get really hot and it's not going to be too much fun grilling under that 110 degree sun in summertime all right guys this concludes the entire uh, property tour, but special thanks to Amos Puckett who allowed me to film his listing. This has been really fun. This has been pretty interesting. And guys, I'm so dying to hear your comments. I'm dying to hear what you think. What do you love? What do you hate? What do you think about the entire situation? And most of all, not being in Summerlin, not being in Green Valley, being off the beaten path here in an older part of Las Vegas here on the east side of town. Is this worth it to you to have a gated community that's really small and intimate for this home for only 1.5 million? Let me hear your thoughts, I'm very interested. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please click to subscribe, like the video, and I will see you guys on the next one. Deuces.